So, good morning. It's Robert from Robin Sue, and we are on our last day on the Iona, coming back from the Norwegian fjords, and uh, we're just travelling down the North Sea. I've just had my constitutional six o'clock morning round the deck, and about got blown overboard. I'm just on the way back now to wake them up for breakfast, and then we're going to ask my sister-in-law Lisa um, how she's enjoyed her very first cruise when only a week ago she was having kittens even thinking of stepping on board a ship so let's go and find out after this One thing to notice, and it's a good tip, is that there's always one side of the ship that is windier than the other. Whether it's the, because of the way the wind's blowing onto the ship or the direction it's travelling, I don't know. But you normally find you can walk out on the port side and it's nice and calm and then go out on the starboard side and it can blow you over, or vice versa. Um, so yeah, if you come out and you find it's a bit windy on one side, try the other side, you might find it's better, like now. the amount of space that they have up on this top deck for sunbathing and there's plenty around the pools there's beds all the way down the sides of the ship uh, and lots of benches and chairs as well in fact they've got some lovely little um, like little cubby holes that you can sit in with the chair and table so plenty of space don't want to hear anybody moaning about that Oh, can you hear the wind blowing? Now, an interesting little thing on Iona is the colour of the lifts. If you're blue, you're at the front. If you're red, you're at the back. And if it's grey, you're in the middle. It's useful to know. And incidentally, it's the same with the staircase. Reddish colour, you're at the back. Blue, you're down at the front. And grey, you're in the middle. So we are looking for 9204 and 9208, which is our cabins. The cabins are quite cleverly numbered, with the deck number to start with and then your room number. Now, if you were paying attention, and I've just told you what cabin we're in, you will know that we're on the wrong side. Because these are odd numbers, and we've got an even number. And just one other thing to note, numbers start from one at the front to whatever at the back. 
So, 6.15 is at the back, 2.04 is at the front on the other side of the ship. So we need to make a crossing at one of the lift lobbies, which there are three. I love these. Changes in level, lit up. Quite useful if you're unsteady on your feet. There you go, lift lobby. So, like I said, dash straight across. And there you go, we need to go forward. That's a bit odd. I'm sure those numbers were going down on the other side. It's dead easy to get confused. But we are now descending in number. Four, six, oh, eight. Another 400 rooms. Another 200. Can you believe 200 rooms along this corridor? That don't seem right. Well, that's just jumped. Did that just jump from 604 to 38? 28. 24. Of course, there's another number there. 20. So what should come after 20? Yeah, 18. 16. No, we're good. Right, that's our lift lobby. Is it? Oh no. No, tell a lie. This is midships. Grey on the walls, yeah. Right, and... This sort of tells you where you are on the ship. Midships. Here is... Forward lift lobby with blue symbols on the wall. So it is a good way of figuring out where you're on the ship. Just remember what's the closest colour to your cabin. I've got to say though, I own has got the weirdest corridors. Every ship we've been on in the past have had straight all the way down through corridors. What's all this weeping in and out about? All over the shop. Like a slalom course. Right, we're back at our room. Here we go. And just gotta find the key now. Which I always lose. This is your key card, tells you where you must the station is. Doesn't tell you your room number in case you lose it, but it does let you in your room and you also use this to pay for everything. So here we go. And in we go. Wow, we've won a prize! <laughs> First quiz in 11 years that we've won something. That's nice, that. I like that. Very good, well done. Oh, he's gone. You've got one too. Don't need my card. Oh, is he the, is he the magician? Yeah. 
I'd say smile, but you better not. I've had them what? No, not yet, no. <laughs> and smile, pretend you're enjoying it. Pretend you're nice to your husband. <laughs> Love it. What? Smile. There you are. Absolute bloody rubbish. Oh, Kirsty, let me do a selfie on one side. Oh my god. <coughs> this is looking very nice, but it's a. Ugh. Go on, now, I need to take a picture. What? Everybody said, everybody on there said that it's the beef. The beef's the best. Mmm. Hard to choose. I've only got 19% so I better get a picture of it. One. It's the beef. You, you've got the what, you've got sea bass. So what did you have? Lamb cutlet. I'm glad I didn't have lamb cutlet because if I put the lamb on. <laughs> I was a bit worried about when I saw them bones I thought somebody's already been at it before they brought it down. Mmm, that looks yum yum yummy. That's, that's the ice cream, not much ice cream, but we'll have to go to ripples up my out. Everybody's that you all had the same? Oh, good finish then. The only thing now is Kevin Sim. He don't boast about anything, he's very humble. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about awards or anything like that. Um, lovely singer, cracking singer. But you know what we were most surprised about? He's bloody funny. Oh, he's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, he's better than some of the comedians on the show. Um, and the most endearing thing about him is that he doesn't even think that he's funny. <laughs> so, um, I know we're getting off tomorrow so it defeats the object, but if we were, Look, I'm still on my thing here, please don't. <laughs> this is still on. I know we're getting off tomorrow, but if we were at the port and only halfway through the cruise and we'd been to watch him, we'd still fly home the next day because <laughs> nothing would top his show. <laughs> if you want to sign off with that, that would make me sound really, really good. <laughs> First cruise ever? Yes. And you weren't looking forward to it, was it? Because you were really scared. Yeah. What do you think now then? Amazing. Will you come again? Yes, definitely. That's a big thumbs up then for cruising. Yay! <laughs>